In today's video, we are tackling this staircase. He's pre-vacuuming everything. And that black stuff up here is actually cat vomit with the charcoal medication. So the cat was sick. The vet recommended or gave a charcoal type product and the cat got home, went upstairs and threw up all over the carpets here. Luckily, the customer only put baking soda on it and tried to vacuum up some of the loose stuff. So what I'll be using today is about half an ounce of Green Dragon in this 32 ounce trigger sprayer and about half an ounce um, yeah, of Simply second. Citrus orange cleaner. And I put about half, maybe 15 ounces of warm water and mixed those two items together. Then I took my <clears throat> Go Oxy, which is a peroxide brightener, and I put the other 17 ounces um, straight. 17 ounces of Go Oxy on top of the 15 ounces of water with the half ounce of Green Dragon and half ounce of Simply Citrus. We did that room back there about a month ago. But anyway, what the orange oil will do is break down the soot and the carbons and the uh, charcoal. Let me leave that in here for a minute. While and that'll loosen up the uh, solution or the, the vomit there so that I can yeah, first can that, blot it out. So I've got a rag, I've got my gloves on, and I'm going to pound out the majority of this stuff. And the uh, Go Oxy is going to help because of the organic, the vomit. Anything organic, your uh, Go Oxy peroxide is going to take up. But look at that transfer already. But you can see we got a lot to go. All right, we'll continue this process. And then when I'm done blotting as much of this up as I can, I'll just bring in, I was gonna bring in the big, the big extractor, the furniture extractor. I don't think we're gonna need it for this small area. I'll bring in the small uh, Vac Master shop vac, one and a half gallon unit, and with a I think it's only got a two and a half or three foot hose. So it's right to the source. So there's lots of suction. You can see it got on two steps and along the edge of the bullnose. So I'm just going to go through, do what I can with the one rag. Then we'll probably do a second rag. And then we'll extract. You will see me neutralize the looks like maybe the customer they say they didn't put anything on it i don't know that the orange oil would foam up like this but possibly so i'm going to neutralize all this uh, product with straight uh what is it a five percent acetic acid heinz vinegar distilled vinegar or i forget what they call it, yeah white distilled vinegar look at that rag <clears throat> so if you have charcoal on your carpets and it's from the cat up chucking the medicine or throwing up or vomiting it up, obviously you're going to have some stomach bile in there, possibly some other medications that the cat may have had or a shot, who knows. So here we go again. Coming out. And you'll see me go real, I'm going really liberally with this. You got to get the water and the solution is the vehicle of trans, transfer. So in order to transfer the soils or the charcoal out of the carpet fibers, you have to have, you know, a lot of liquid so that it penetrates or it lifts into the uh, cotton towels that i'm using here blue extractor so we're basically transferring some of this out. the charcoal the into the one. pad and then we are going to clean these stairs after i neutralize this we're going to spray it down with the uh green dragon solution 
In the bigger sprayer, we're gonna use the stair tool and a polar pad, gray polar pad. We'll do the whole stairs. This job fell within our minimum, so I suggested we clean the whole entire stair staircase after we were done with this. It would be included, obviously. This is a specialty spot removal. Now, if you search online charcoal and carpet, it's going to tell you use vinegar and baking soda. The baking soda is okay. You got to be careful with vinegar because, you know, they use acids to set dye in carpet. So I'm only using the vinegar. I do have a, a citric acid powder that I could have used. It has zero odor, but at this point, I wanted to just pour that vinegar on there heavy, neutralize all this soap so we don't have any wicking or browning. But yeah, you don't want to use the vinegar on charcoal or stuff like that, the acid, and even on throw up, the bile is real acidic anyway. You're just you're just compounding the problem, in my opinion. But if you look online, that's what it's going to say is vinegar. I don't recommend it. You can see how nice it's coming out just with the orange oil, the citrus oil, and the uh, peroxide, a little green dragon in there. If I was going to do anything at a homeowner standpoint, I would probably put... A drop of dish soap, Dawn dish soap in that 32 ounce trigger sprayer. And I would probably fill it, no water. I would just take 3% hydrogen peroxide in the brown bottle and fill it up. And then I would do exactly what I'm doing using just warm water, one drop of the uh, Dawn or your, you know, liquid dish soap. And the hydrogen peroxide to break down all that organic matter. Okay, I'm gonna get the mini shop vac set up. <clears throat> get my tool in place and then it's probably gonna get a little noisy in here so I'll have to uh, stop talking until I'm done sucking up all that slurry. All the charcoal. I'll respray it a little uh, bit, get the solution in there. The green it's dragon's going to help with the encapsulant. So there's a, it's going to well, crystallize. So that's going to be, you know, a good thing if there's any of that left in there. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to lay the, vin the vinegar down just heavy. I'm just going to pour it straight out of the bottle and uh, really soak it down. And that's going to allow for me to shop back, excuse me, shop back it up and get any additional stuff disinfected and cleaned up and out of that carpet. Give it the old once over here with this one more time. And then, like I said, we're gonna clean these carpets with the stair tool. The camera does no justice on these carpets. They're like a beige with a, if you push the fiber one direction, it's got like a taupe undertone. And there's my solution. I told you what's in that bottle. But anyway, you so the camera picks up a lot of those dark shadows. You can even see my shadow in the, the film there, the shadow from the hose. But uh, if you were here looking over my shoulder, you'd see it's looking beautiful. All right, gonna get this thing turned on here and then we'll get going. Let me give him the, the cell phone to hold, just a moment. I need both hands.
All right. We got too much solution in there, I think. So we're going to go drain it out, dump it down the toilet. And we'll come and get back at it in just a minute. Let's see all that solution. Definitely some foaming action going on. This is afterwards before we go ahead and do the cleaning. Again, the shadows in the direction of the carpet's going to play games with us. But we'll go through and get this all cleaned up. I'll show you the final pictures at the very end. Let's get some daylight on the subject here. That's going to help me see the results when I'm done there. Bear with me as I get my bearings here. I think we made some serious progress. We'll flip this pad over, finish the stairs, and then I'll show you where we're at. it up, groom it. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to groom these, see how we're looking. That lets us not only check our work by going back and forth, but also gives it that nice aesthetic clean look. Go through here, everything's looking good. All right, sometimes there's different directions too. It's weird on stairs. Depends on the installer. Like you'll see me pull the bull nose over to the right there and that's usually the direction that lays the carpet, the direction I want it to go. But then occasionally I'll get one of the stairs where 
I don't know if they just put the carpet in reverse, like this one. It's kind of strange. The nap's not going the same direction. No biggie. They did come out beautifully. Beautiful, clean. Look, there's the nap going the other direction. So, anyway, we'll get it all groomed up and looking good. And then I'll take a final photo. Uh, we're going to collect the payment on this one when we're done and head to a quick lunch break where I will hopefully have a good signal while I'm having lunch. I'll try and upload the video for you folks. And I'm not sure we, we're kind of, we got four jobs today. So this one actually is the third job of the day. Look how nice that came out. Small job, obviously we squeezed it in between our regular three. But I'll try and upload it and then finish off the uh, remainder of my day. But I thought this would be helpful also for somebody that if they have the same incident, you can uh, listen along and you'll see what I recommend. If you wanted to do it yourself, you could do it with a little drop of Dawn dish soap and 32 ounces of the 3% hydrogen peroxide. They sell it at the drugstore or Walmart for a dollar. There you go. That's kind of looking at it from a top angle. And the final view there. There's the final set of stairs. You'll see the before and after. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Hope this helped somebody. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one.